What is up guys, my name is Creator. Welcome back to another gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy. And this will be part 2. So, uh... I don't know about you guys, but this game, the first impression was phenomenal. So, before we begin... Previously, on Hogwarts Legacy. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Who created this portkey? Or why? It does follow the light. Well, as you can see, we got chased by a dragon, we got Ranrock as our antagonist, and then we got introduced by Percival Rackham and Charles Rookwood. Something about ancient magic that only I can see. So, yeah, that's all the recap that I can give you. So now, we begin on our first day on Hogwarts. Let's go. Just have to wait for the right moment. Wait, moment? What you mean? One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? Someone threw a dumb box. <coughs> <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. What? What? How do you know? I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are fun but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. So, we got Everett the trickster, huh? Okay. What's this? Ignatia Will Smith. Wild Smith, sorry, not Will Smith. Might get slapped, right? <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. That joke is old. It must be different starting I'm not sure if this is the right spot. Okay, what about you? Hello there. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden Gobstones! I want him to thrive here! Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. 
I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> can see that. Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. Oh, yeah. He taught me everything I know, right? Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. Isn't it Hufflepuff who likes plants? An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps, but it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Well, maybe you're in the wrong house, right? No, oh, nice talking to you. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Alright, thanks, Samantha. Well, she... We know one thing about her. She likes plants. Okay. What about this boy? Deep breath. Why, hello. Hello. Would you like to take a look? Yes, please. Okay, we see in the middle of the day, right? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I've never been one for stargazing. I'm afraid I'm not much for memorizing constellations. Enough to worry about on the ground. Well, you should know that all fifth years must take astronomy. However, I think you will feel differently after one night up on the tower. A quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Be seeing you too. Hey, I mean, New Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. She would best not keep her waiting. Now, my next question is, how does everyone know oh. that I got chased by a dragon? That's suspicious, though. This place looks beautiful too. Ravenclaw, hey, hi. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. <laughs> now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. Oh. They will okay. determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. This. Oh. This is supposed to be a guidebook? It is a wizard's field guide. Oh. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. 
Two hands on then. Well, I suck at theory though. Let's test it up. This way. Yes, ma'am. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Okay. So it can tell us our details about I things? certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Well, you're knowledgeable now, so I don't think you need one, right? Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust? Revelio. And see what details the field guide can provide. Okay. Ravenclaw bust. This bust created in honor of Ravenclaw House. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna skip it. So, in case you guys wondering about the things uh, the field guide shows, you can pause it. Ah, okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Will do, man. Oh. No oh. time to waste. You've classes to attend. No, but the f the freaking stairs is so long. Okay, so are we gonna walk only? You know what? That's fine. Let's just take a slow pace and enjoy our surrounding, huh? Ah, good oh. timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Central Hall. Up to. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Gonna say I, I agree more there. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Oh, I mean, Hogwarts is oh, always is something that? happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Wow, so this is huge. I mean, yeah, first travel is do make sense, right? Hogwarts is huge as hell. My brothers and I prefer pumpkin juice with almonds, my almonds. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Um Yeah. Nah. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, no, there's nothing. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Damn, she's sharp. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one place. Humbling character, huh? Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. 
Uh... I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Yeah, well, that's Very true. Well. Yeah. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right. Well, all I can say is we need to come up with a better life, man. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Well, I can't say <laughs> masterfully, right? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Obviously, yes, well, bro. Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. All right. Oh. Oh, so basically this is like a tracking. Okay. Have you also? The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right. Well, have a good day, sir. Let's go to classes. Wow. Damn. I'm impressed, man. Well, okay. So let us begin on our first class. It will be Defense Against the Dark Arts. Alright. Let's begin. Hell yeah. Now this is the class that I'll be attending more, man. Oh. Professor Hecate! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was Hell a chocolate in the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Damn, ma'am. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. <laughs> a levitation <laughs> charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Uh-oh, Pruitt. 
You got yourself One brain, thing man. I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay. New spell. Unlock. Hell yeah, first try. Levioso. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> What's that kid though, sitting on a table like that? <laughs> Let us begin with the basic cast. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast? This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Thank you. That was easy. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> oh, I yeah? want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Well, prepare to get your ass kicked, man. Because I am Kratos back to This should be easy. Levioso, good form. I know. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Class, I hope you were paying attention. That is how you cast Levioso. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I'm my man. I, I fight the night spot, before I came here. And you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it. And they must achieve it. Oh damn, perfection is huh? duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. Sello. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. So something. Ah, Revelio. I was right. Hebridian black skulls. <laughs> My man. <laughs> Hebridian? Brother Brazilian? Oh, so you are Sello. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallo, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Sharp eyes. I mean, not eyes though. Sharp intuition, right? I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Oh, damn. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. Okay. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. It's intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. 
Thank Sim. you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. All right, thanks. Thanks, Until Sebastian. Next time. All right. Onwards to another class. Let us go. Oh, level up. Okay. Good evening. Is it evening or morning? Oh, <laughs> Okay, Professor Charms Glass. Here we go. Stay of class. Okay. Where here. should us? Behind you. There is an open seat here. Oh, thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> I presume that's him. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Sorry. Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Charms? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. Oh, new spell? Hell yeah. Oh, uh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Akio. Akio. Watch out. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Oh, okay. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Hey, more hands-on. That's the way. That's the way how we supposed to learn things, huh? Hands-on. Well, I don't know about you guys. To me, hands-on is how I practically learn stuff. When it comes to theory, damn. I wouldn't say so much about it. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand-in-hand hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so, why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? It'll be my pleasure. Oh, a flu flame. Ok. 
Okay. Very Let's simply, see. cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the... That's it! Not to worry. Now? Very yeah. good! Stop, 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 stop! Stay focused! Okay, sorry. Splendid! Too soon? Okay. Very good! Points to Ravenclaw! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. You're gonna lose, lady. Here we go! <laughs> Is that considered cheating? <laughs> yes! Okay. Thousand two. Yeah, I'm getting hand on this. Okay. Excellent. Let us see this. Oh, right. There we go. Thousand two, thousand three. And come on. Fifty? Yeah. Nicely done. Watch this. Okay. Phew. Not bad. Not too shabby. My turn. Akio. That's it. It's a draw. Okay. Almost. Almost. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay, what do you mean interesting? Oh. <laughs> I Obstacle, think we are huh? well past interesting at this point. Okay, ladies first. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Be sharp. Is how it's done. All right, all right. Stop showing off. Now. <laughs> First try. See that? Splendid. Let us see this. Not bad. There we go. Let me get the left one, huh? Left one. Timing, it's all about timing. No. Yep. Quite impressive. Watch this. Okay. 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 Phew. Akio. 150. Hell yeah. Damn, yeah, you see that? A perfect score! Hmm? You see that? Remarkable. Hey, 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 hey. You see that? You see that? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Five points to Ravenclaw. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Huh? Transfer here? Where were you from? Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My See. mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Does Wagadu look like? Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. 
It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. A word you if you would. On humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. Really? So that way, IQ works on clothes rather than humans, so we'll be pulling their clothes. Huh. Okay, that's you weird. wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. All right. Thank you, Professor. Huh. Like the details here. Oh, origami. Nice. Nice they done. Uh, why should I go now? Hello. How was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. You know what? You remind me of Hermione. Yeah. I managed the conjurer hedgehog once, and then the werewolf What's this? The What's this place? Werewolves! Where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752! Damn, this How do we get that though? I won't say my goodbyes! I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies! You can try using a spell. Have you a Pack you! No. Boot or the oh, that's black. what we call beginner's luck. Oh. Okay, onwards. Okay. Where to next? Weasley after class. Okay. Roger that. My bad, my bad, my bad. I haven't get used to the control they said, so sorry. Flames. Revelio. Oh, 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 gray, oh, gray skeleton. Irish Phoenix. Okay, nice. Level up. Alright. There's a lot to discover in this school, man. Lots of secrets, right? Wow. Damn. Is that bird? Oh, it's an owl. I agree. Nah, just kidding. I'm just kidding.
Professor Weasley. What I'm about here. the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Listen, how's oh, Alfred? Uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? No. There's nothing. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I see. Yeah, Professor Ronan. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign oh. your first one. That was now, quick. Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've oh. managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Nice. Oh, I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. About Sallow, yeah. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to Rookwood? avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three oh. Broomsticks. Wait, how old are you that you can drink? Is butterbeer an alcoholic drink or no? Wow. What is this? Oh, we're gonna learn a new spell. Where is it? Professor. Hey, Professor. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed, I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. Hey, thank you. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, 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 what's that? Revelio. Wyvern Fountain. Transfiguration Courtyard. Okay. What are we supposed to do? Oh. Yeah. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Akio. Yeah. yeah. What's this? Akio. <laughs> Akio. Is yeah, so? Wait. Should I do something with this? Levioso. Oh. Oh. 
the more you know. Okay, onwards. A flying page must be around here somewhere. There you go. Brilliant. Get over here. Damn, I like this, bro. Seriously, man, the details on this. Holy crap. I can't wait to explore this place. Oh, there's more. Revelio. Painting of Ilius. I Ili. I a frack. Bad, man. What's this? Mouse Patronus. Nice. Shut up. Okay, I think we've completed it, right? Yep. Sir? I trust the preliminary tasks were. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Okay. Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Yeah. This looks like a golden ratio. So it's X... A... A... First try. Easy. Okay, what should I do? Got it. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Well, yep. The irony in that, right? Ah, someone broke this. Represent heartbreak, huh? Repairal. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Revelio. I can't wait to explore this place, man. Now, where should we go? Oh. oh, I see. One. Okay, let's go. I didn't know that. The hell? Sorry, sorry. This is supposed to be a side quest, right? Oh, thank God it's nearby. Gee, this school is massive, though. Massive. Damn. <laughs> Whoa. No way, man. We can fly, right? Yeah. Gosh, I'm so excited about the broom. What's this? Revelio. Whee! Haunted toilets. Oh, oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Oh, there's more. Oh, my God. Nicklin, ne a frank, uh, the lanky. Open sesame. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. This thing again. Let me also. You. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Um, I beat him. That's I'm right. to hear that. 
Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. Perfect explanation, so I like it. The school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Yeah. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? I bring it. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Oh yeah? Bring it, lady. Okay. It's also Potato! Stupid cop! Let me go! Stupid cop! You mean regret, right? There goes my wager. Accio. Ah! That's a great combo. Lumos, let me go. Sorry. Stay down. You're better than that. Accio. I want the best thing. <laughs> that was easy. Perhaps one day I'll sign up for a round. You told me I'll be regretting this, right? Oh, nice nah. work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's hmm. strong competition ahead, but keep this up. And you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Thank you. Hope to see you back here again. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. Well, I guess. This is it, right? Yeah. This is a good first day. So I might just leave it like this. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, so leave a like and subscribe. If you do, it will help me tremendously. So yeah, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.